Do you reckon if ever Winston Churchill looked back and he was like, I wonder what the state of the world is going to look like in 20, in 50, 60, 80 years time. Is it going to be flying cars? Is there going to be, I don't know, economy doesn't exploit the poor? Suddenly, he looks at this state of society and it's just... <laughs> The MCU's gone woke! And it's like, mate, you're 50 years old. That's it's... really put me in a bad mood, actually. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> Problem with Mr. Bobby. <laughs> Mr. Bobby's. <laughs> was definitely a peep <laughs> <laughs> If he thinks that is bad, wait until he visits Great Yarmouth. <laughs>
Stu Runtz. <laughs> Stu Runtz. And his first run. It was. In his brand new series. In his brand new exclusive series, which I, the room at the streets have been saying that the series is going to be picked up by HBO, Netflix. Yeah. They're all bidding for it currently, even though it came out five years ago. Stu Runtz. About lemonade. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Stu, I went to his local store and he bought some lemonade and he ranted about it. So I, I've put, I've downloaded this and I've put it into a clip and I, I just want to sit through this and watch Stu rants about lemonade. What a lemon- fucking funny thing to get angry about. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a great little icebreaker for yeah. this first, ep- uh, first episode, for this third yeah. episode, where we uh, go back into the lore of Stu Reviews and Onion. Is now, he fucking truly angry? Mate, he, <laughs> he is. He's he not happy. But it, it's the fact that why he's angry. He's not angry necessarily about like um, the taste of it. He's more angry about the actual, ing- the artificial ingredients of, right. of the lemonade. He's, he's angry that there isn't real lemon juice in it for, for well, there is a uh, little bit, but not full. So like, it's a specific type of lemonade here because you can get good lemonade, but obviously... Stews- but honestly, if somebody offers you lemonade, like if I go to somebody's house and they hand me a guy's lemonade, I'm going to be thinking, you must really think I'm a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, not- like, to be fair, I will agree with Stu. Lemonade's maybe one of the worst fizzy drinks. Oh, yeah. And I think lemonade's really, like, the only time I would... Knowledge, but the only time I'd go for it. Little Buppy Wuppy. Wuppy. Little Buppy Wuppy. Little Buppy Wuppy. Little Homer Simpson. Ooh, ooh, I've got, to, ooh, I need a belly rub. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck um, up. Continue what you're saying about lemonade. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Know, that was mate. awful. Don't know, mate. Uh, I feel like I've just been like groomed or something. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. I don't feel good about it either. I, I, uh, <laughs> I'm actually quite worried about that. Carry on. Um, what was lemonade, I talking about? Lemonade. lemonade. Right, yeah. The only time I would choose to have lemonade. Right, I need to interject. We've had a few Bev Arginos and uh, we... we <laughs> You can tell this cunt's had an espresso martini. <laughs> Continue. Um, Continue. Right, geez, right, let's get back lemonade. on track. The, the problem of lemonade. The problem of lemonade, yeah. <laughs> the, right. the, the problem of lemonade. Cavos is next is video. <laughs> Content cop, lemonade. Content cop, Schweppes. <laughs> lemonade needs to be stopped. <laughs> Um, it's like not even content like, nuke, I, lemonade. I, I haven't even got a good point about it. I was Look, literally just, just going to say the only good time I'd have lemonade is maybe mixing it with alcohol or something. That, but, even then, mate, that's a bit dodgy. Like, and that's like, yeah, I'd normally have like rum and coke or something, but if like I had to, this past minute has just brought me back to all the comments where they say how bad your ADHD is. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 <laughs> mate, mate, I so he 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 reviewed an onion. Yeah. He reviewed everything, but now he's ranting. And now I think we need to take a look. Okay. Stu reviews, reviews Lemonade okay. just for you guys. This right. is the exclusive that isn't going to be made into a clip because this okay. would get about, this would be the first YouTube video to ever get zero reviews. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go into this. Hey guys, Stu here. <laughs> Man, he, he is such a G. <laughs> He's so iconic. He's, yeah, he, mate, this guy defined you two. <laughs> this, he, this man is like everything I am praying to be. You know, we were speaking about yeah. what I'm going to be doing in 20 years time. Yeah. This is what I'm if hoping to do. it wasn't for Stu, arguably you wouldn't have the Sidemen. <laughs> I'd make Mr. Beast, I reckon. <laughs> I, Beast, I, I, yeah. I think Mr. Beast is Mr. inspired Beast. by this yeah. man. Right, we've got we've gotten one second in. <laughs> and I'm back again with another video. This is the first episode of a new <laughs> video. This is the first episode of a new series I would like to call Stu Rants. <laughs> oh, man, man, I <laughs> fucking love this guy so much. Mate, if we can, after this, I need to show you the Q and A video. He does. Oh, mate, no, that's episode four. We're going where <laughs> Stu is becoming like are a we, part of the show. A... Every week, we're gonna go through Stu reviews something. <laughs> We've got our first segment of the podcast, and <laughs> right, it's just watching Stu because. <laughs> Right. We we uh, my like we were speaking about guests earlier. We've got we like KSI, Tommy in it. We can we can maybe get a few of them on. Fuck all of those guys. Yeah. Stu and not just Stu, but Stu reviews an onion. That's how I'm gonna know the guys from now on. He has got the best voice ever. <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me the sh- kid's like 13 in this <laughs> video. <laughs> Fucking listen to his voice. It's insane. Wait, wait, just listen to this intro. It's so enthusiastic. I love it. Hey guys, Stu here. <laughs> Mate, I fucking love this guy. I love yeah. him. I, I, this is this video is like five years old, but you know for a fact this man's like working for NASA now. <laughs> mate, he's gonna be the next president. I think. First president of the of the entire planet. Yeah, mate, imagine. <laughs> First act, he fucking bans lemonade. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he makes onion juice. Yeah, right. like- Stu walks onto the stage. Everyone's, it's fucking like the biggest turnout ever. Stu's there and he just goes, hey guys, Stu here. <laughs> you see fucking, fucking Liz Truss just like that. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Liz Truss and <laughs> Stu are like the next rivalry. That's like where World War Three is going to stem Mate, from. I was about to say, imagine World War Three is about to break out, Stu. and then like the Battle of the Onion uh, Farms. Like, <laughs> Stu fucking <laughs> Stu fucking nukes the onion reserves of the UK. <laughs> <laughs> every TV channel, every show, fucking all the radios, they just stop around the world. <laughs> you just hear, hey guys, still here. Hey guys, still here. And you know, like, they drop the massive nuke. Yeah. <laughs> Stu's first military level order is every nuke needs to be designed in the shape of an onion. <laughs> and you just see, you look, you're like walking along and fucking like, I don't know, Tower Hamlet. So you're walking along, suddenly so you look up, you hear this noise, you see this fucking Fuck massive, off, massive onion. onion. Like the cannon onions you get. Mate, at that point, I'd just be like, fair enough. Fair, like, enough. fair enough. Are we, that we? is clearly the act of Stu. <laughs> I'd be imprisoned as a prisoner of war because I would be on Stu's side, no I'd matter honest, what. I'd, I'd back Stu to the death. Stu, I mean, if I'd Stu, back... Stu could go against every political opinion Mate, I've ever had. If Stu went right, no fucking <laughs> me. I need to mute that word because you two don't like that word. They don't like the word. This is. This is a mess. <laughs> this is an absolute mess. I was going to say, this, the, like, the first episode was quite structured and now it's just... The first, the first episode was like, oh, hello everybody, welcome back to a podcast. Second episode was like, we're a little bit funny. Now it's just like, this is it's a that. fucking mess. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing silly buggers. <laughs> so, I don't know what that means. You said that earlier. You said to me, you you stared me dead in the eyes and said, I'm going to play silly buggers today. I said to you, right. Aiden, I am... I didn't say this, but I, I, I am saying it now. Aiden, I am 25 years old. I don't know what that means. It just Wait, means we're going to be a bit silly. We need to get into... Stu's actual review of them. Yeah, people, are getting, people are getting upset. I can already hear them. Yeah. They're saying, I want to hear Stu's review. Mate, it's like, you know in the comments where they're like, I'd like to have timestamps. <laughs> fucking impossible. <laughs> because like, there's you no... Get, you get so many requests on this fucking channel. People are like, I want yeah. subtitles. I want fucking this and that. And I'm like, firstly, you get subtitles after like a day. That's not on me. That's you'll on get, YouTube. You'll get what you're given and you'll like it. <laughs> And today we're talking about lemonade. <laughs> we will. There are some things which might do well as a clip we're going to get into, but right now the important things need to be spoken about first. Right. And it's Stu's very important takes right. on cloud. Wait, firstly, cloudy lemonade or normal lemonade? <sighs> Probably cloudy. Thank you very much. Let's continue. First episode of a new series I like to call Stu Rants. That's going to pop up on your screen as I say that. Hopefully. <laughs> I love that he says hopefully. He's like, this boy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's like, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. You get he's what you like, deserve. He's like, well, I don't know how to do that. No, Stu knows. <laughs> Stu knows everything. Stu but knows and Stu rants. Stu, Stu doesn't know if we even are, like, if we're even worthy of his editing. Because this yeah. man, because he knows we're going to watch it either way. Maybe he'll reward us with some editing. Maybe he won't. But I do believe that he did. I think he did provide us... Which do you rants on the screen? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> Stu fucking sticks to his word, doesn't he? <laughs> he, fucking... he? He is, honestly. I, I, This guy is like, if you've never met your parents and you need a fatherly figure in your life, Stu rants. <laughs> Stu, Stu rants. So if you're adopted right now, please just let us know. There's Stu... nothing more iconic than <laughs> Stu rants. said if you're adopted right now, please let us know. <laughs> Why did that come out? Like that? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> I, I, I... What's going on? <laughs> My granddad was adopted. Was he? Apparently. Did he get picked up from the dumping ground? <laughs> <laughs> Tracy B. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I know your dad has got a big old fucking. He's <laughs> locked wait, on. Wait, wait, he, wait. Mate, mate, your dad has locked horns with Justine Littlewood a few times in his life, honey. Bog <laughs> off. <laughs> Do you remember Theo from fucking Tracy Beaker? What Theo? a little dickhead. He was like... Who the fuck was Theo? Okay. <laughs> it's fucking Theo. It's Rio Weller. It's fucking Theo. No, Rio Weller. <laughs> His last name was Weller. Yeah, there was an entire family of Mate, them. Mate, they were such pricks. They were dickheads, weren't they? They were, they were like... <laughs> I I have brought this organization up in every episode, but they were like the ISIS. You, <laughs> you can't, mate. You are you are very scared about ISIS, aren't you? They <laughs> I fucking got, shake you. I'm, to the I'm just scared they're coming I, back. The thing about Tracy Beaker, right? One of the, the characters. Problem with Tracy Beaker. The problem with Tracy Beaker's is one of the characters was called Lol. That's mental, isn't it? <laughs> Bouncer and Lol. <laughs> From the fucking Duke. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this poor audio engineer right now. I, I apologize. He, he doesn't. You forgot our name. <laughs> we forget his name. But he, he's probably listening to this thinking, what the fuck is going on? To be right fair, now? I think the other guy was probably warned him. Yeah, we started joking about America. And I felt really bad because he's a lovely man. He's American. <laughs> yeah. But uh, all right, Stu reviews well, lemonade. Yeah, yeah, let's go we, we've got a, we've got a time schedule we need <laughs> Mate, to get this, under. This is this editing is going to be so fucking awful for you. <laughs> <laughs> It's just water. Yeah. Mate, you have to keep that in. <coughs> You're dripping all over yourself. Oh, no, I'm, I'm a drippy little boy. <laughs> oh. You've got the fucking dribbly bibbles, mate. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but when you said that, Mr. Blobby came to my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Blobby. <laughs> Mr. Blobby. The problem with Mr. Blobby. <laughs> Mr. Blobby is, was definitely a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst podcast we've ever recorded, and we've only ever recorded three. I think this is the best. <laughs> this Mr. Is so Blobby good. has groomed so many little blobbies. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about kids. I'm no, talking about just little like, blobbies. Hey, there is like an actual universe where little blobbies exist. Mate, no, Mr. Blobby was the only blobby. There's no <laughs> other blobbies kicking about. The blobbies died out in the Great Blobby called- War. <laughs> We've got, we've got an entire can we fucking, plethora of things we, we need to speak about. We need to speak about Nick Ocado being a weird guy. Can we please? And we've can to, we please <laughs> listen to Stu run a boat lemonade? Stu, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I've got on to Mr. Blobby and now we need to get on to Mr. Stu. Stu rants. We're not even past this bit. Now, I'm pissed as, as per usual, but this time with Minute Maid Lemonade. <laughs> It's not happy. He's so angry. All right, to carry oh, on. Oh, God. I, f- I know. No, I just need to say I fucking love you so much, <laughs> Stu. You are genuinely the best fucking human being to ever grace this I'm, planet. I'm a really big Stu fan. I used to, Me and my mate Ewan used to, and your mate Ewan, oh, my mate Ewan. used to watch him religiously in sick form. Oh, everyone, so... everyone would go in the library to like revise for that A-levels. And fucking, you know, proper getting down, like, you know, really stressed out. Us dickheads would walk in at lunchtime, stick, <laughs> stick, on, an onion. stick on, like, Stu Reviews an Onion and just set a piss on ourselves for knowing people. He is, like, the definition of a fucking beast. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell you why right now that this, that this, this product is ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. This is you know when you your mum like when you're like 14, it's like we're gonna order pizza tonight, and she brings in a fucking frozen pizza. <laughs> he me. fucking everything he says, like he picks mate. his words so well, <laughs> doesn't he? It's a, such a distinct voice, and yeah. I just love it. The problem, with, the problem with being brave <laughs> is that you we have such like n- like not, I say like normal voices, but like we can't make no- sounds like we can't sound like we that. can't say stuff like that without sounding utterly ridiculous. We yeah, we can't sound like that without announcing that we're like taking over the rest of the world. But like <laughs> he says it, and like I believe it. Like I I I didn't mind lemonade before coming into this, but now I fucking hate lemonade. Yeah. Let me go through some of the ingredients for you for a second. The entire clip is just stew going over the ingredients. It's the, just him it, no, no, no. It, it's just him. He, he, <laughs> he doesn't rant. He just lists the go whole on. ingredients. Go on. Contains pure filtered water, high fru- fru- fructose corn syrup, lemon juice from concentrate, less than 0.5% of natural flavors. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, he looks like he's just fucking seen his mum die or something. Look at that. He looks like he's seen something from truly fucking terrible, isn't it? <laughs> looks like he's just like found the location of Madeline McGann or something. Why would that be a bad thing? Just look at me. He's like, might be back. But look, Maddie's he's like, back. He's like, no fucking way. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? Fuck. She was in the hotel the whole time. <laughs> oh, the problem with Madeline McCann. <laughs> it pisses me off. And here's the other thing. They put a bunch of... Okay, right here. Let me get a close-up. This is outrageous. Made with real lemons. Oh, really? Let me just go back to the ingredients here. 
less than 0.5% of natural flavors. To be fair, I I really like you, Stu, but I think if there was too much lemon juice, it you would got be a point. too much, Yeah, because lemon juice is really gross. Like, like not, it's like nice to an extent, but like, I don't know about you, but I made lemon juice for my girlfriend the other day and because um, she was like ill and shit. Well, like, just, I, I don't make lemon juice for my girlfriend. <laughs> Carry on. Oh God, sorry, I had a little gassy wassy. <laughs> no, I made lemon warm lemon juice because she was ill and it's good good for you. And I put like like that, like that amount, like probably less than five percent. Oh yeah, when I when I'm ill very rarely, Georgia makes me, my girlfriend makes me a really nice <laughs> Oh <laughs> gee, I'm so sorry guys. Oh, I'm, fucking, oh god. Uh, fucking buddies with Aiden and Barney Gumble. <laughs> <laughs> Barney Gumble. Oh, fuck it out. Yeah. I bet he's made some stew. Yeah. Carry on. I, she makes me warm, I think it's lemon and honey. But you don't make that for her? I make it for her, yeah. You just said you don't? No, I've realised it's not an everyday thing. It's not drink. an everyday thing. It's just, <coughs> it's it's just an ill drink. Ill. It's it? just when yeah. they're ill. It and fucking c- does the job as well. It, it? Does the, it does do the job. does the bloody jobby wobby. <laughs> it does the jobby wobby, <laughs> Let's, let's mate. continue. Mr. Blobby. And it's also full of dye, lemon number, yellow number five. Uh... I mean, this is just terrible. They speak about like the cinematic issues with like the Marvel Cinematic Universe at the moment, like the CGI, the camera work. But they need to start taking notes from this boy because he knows what he's doing with this camera work. That little like jump cut he did. It's was brilliant. I honestly think this man's going to win an Oscar one day. <laughs> and I don't know what for. Maybe Stu reviews an Apple, something. So he's going to go out. I, I reckon one day he's going to go out of his like, the, his manosphere. <laughs> I think he's the new Bond. <laughs> there are, it's going to be a Driss Elba is it going to be Chris Pratt it's going to be fucking Stu reviews aren't you <laughs> wait, wait, he is going to be so iconic that they're going to rename James Bond and he's just going to be called <laughs> Stu and he's just going to go the name Stu Stu <laughs> He doesn't actually have a last name. She, only Stu knows what his last name yeah. is. And the, the the magical part is it is just Stu. <laughs> it's just Stu. And it's also full of dye, lemon number, yellow number five. Uh, I mean, this is just terrible. And now I got a whole two liters of this shit. Excuse my language, but I'm not going to drink this. This... Why would I drink a liquid that causes nothing but pain? In fairness, I think Stu's got a point here because that means like 99.9% of this is actual like just pure acid. Pure garbage. And Stu doesn't. Mm. Stu wants the youth of today to have a good upbringing. That's the thing. I think Stu would make a very good like minister of... Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Get him in the secret skirt. What? Secret skirt? In... Martin, Martin Skirtle. Skirtle. <laughs> Martin Skirtle and his magic hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised we've spent way too much time. That's stupid. That, that's right, stupid. I think we should... We, we'll do controversial opinions third and then we'll get, we'll do first uh, our favourite man, Nick Ocado, Avocado. Are, has, we, are we doing that now? He's are we? died. He is... Uh, he is Stu reviews an onion has taken him. <laughs> no, no, no. Nick Ocado, Avocado. Do you know about the bloke? Too much, mate. Too much. Too much. I have seen that man's bum hole. I have seen that man. <laughs> I've seen that man in far too many situations of where I think I, I, it's no coincidence that sh- I saw that man's bum hole and suddenly I made a coming out video. The thing is with Nick Avocado, I've never seen a man that needs more help <laughs> than anyone but, else. But, but, but it's just mental because like everyone just laughs. It's like yeah. this dude. It's clearly messed up. You're seeing someone very slowly just like kill themselves. <laughs> and it's like... I have never seen a man decimate 9,000 calories in the space of five seconds like this bloke. There is like me 3 a.m. on a night out and then there is Nick Akado Avocado on a day-to-day basis. And this man just consumes. Like, and I'm not just saying like he consumes. I, he is like a black hole. <laughs> He's a consumer. <laughs> He's the... I've made plenty of videos about Nick. Like he is like a... Um, he's a... I'll say a specimen. That's a very mean thing to say. He's a he's a he's a definitely a human, uh, I think, and he's definitely a bloke who <laughs> he. Uh... <laughs> We've had too many beverages, you know. He's, um, the thing with fucking Nico yeah. Avocado, right? That man has never had an avocado in his life. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the mysterious thing about Nick Ocado avocado. This bloke was a vegan for like 16 years or yeah. something. Have you seen Nick Ocado like five years ago? He did really like wholesome sort of vlogs, didn't he? Yeah, well... He was like quite... It was just a, he was seemed like a regular bloke who had a bit of an obsession with Trisha Paytas. And honestly, I've made like 70,000 videos about that woman. So, you know, I think I'm on that board too. Yeah. But difference is, I then didn't start down a career path of like putting my heart attacks on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> But Nick, recently, so we, we know him, we love him. I've got my criticisms of the book. I've got plenty of criticisms, but that's not what we're doing today. 
We're speaking about a theory to do with this man. Of okay. Recently, the internet has uh, basically been discussing has Nikocado Avocado actually fucking died? died. <laughs> I think before we go into this, we should just very quickly explain to people who he is. Oh, mate, mate, a hundred percent. Like you guys all know who Nick is, but I think we need a quick rundown. And I have got clips up of this man. Truly, yeah. some of his masterpieces. You've got Picasso. You've got Da Vinci. You've got Stuart <laughs> and Onion. But Right at the top, you've got Nikocado avocado. Uh, like, if you don't know, he'll basically eat and just eat and eat and eat. And then he'll cry because he's eaten too much. And then he'll just start having a seizure on screen. <laughs> and it's, it's fucking weird, man. It's wait, like, wait, it's I, like, I've compiled a, a, a little bit of Nick's content for us to watch today. So uh, let's, 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 let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be depressing. Girl, that was in a fart. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you, you can't deny the man's like a genius in a weird way like, like there's obviously there's, there's no way out any of this <laughs> he's screaming just surrounded just absolutely surrounded by like fucking chicken wings or something just, you McDonald's must like worship this guy because if they ever go for a bad like tax year or something they've just got this bloke to rely on look at that man that is genuine pain it's like it? well, human beings over time have gone through like, n like nine fucking hundred million years of evolution or however long it is and it has resulted in this <laughs> It's like a fucking F1 car. <laughs> it's like a fucking jet plane taking off. It's like Lewis Houghton's going around the corner. Yeah. Nigga kind of just playing out of it. <laughs> he's fucking break. He's going to fucking break the microphone in the room. Do diarrhea. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, I, uh, As a man on the outside, how does this feel to witness? Like, you've got to think for a second. This man is earning millions of pounds a year. How does that make you mate, feel? Imagine his parents. <laughs> yeah, my son's just a really successful person. He makes content for the internet. And he's... <laughs> Imagine, right? Imagine, you know, you're going to like, uh, it's a, you know, you get those like, in, in, especially in American places, you get like the reunions and stuff. And as a high school reunion, you bring your parents along and then Nick doesn't turn up, but his parents go and they go, oh, what's Nick up to nowadays? They remember him for who he was like five years ago where he was just like this really fucking nice... Just a geezer who used to have just, a fucking bird on his shoulder. Just nice, wholesome guy. This like, you know, just really sound like very normal. It's like, I wonder what he's doing these days. He's probably, you know, got a pretty successful job. His life's probably going well. Then he fucking walks in and he's just fucking like, I can't even fit through my doors anymore. Excuse me. <laughs> like, mate, like the fucking Christmas Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, all right, all right, all right. So people are basically saying, right, that this bloke, because he is like, I, 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 there, there is some things I need to show you. I know I haven't got it up in a document. He but... died a long time ago. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> You, you got to think, right? They all people are always banging on about like oh, Winston Churchill fought to save this world and this country and stuff. But you, do you reckon if ever Winston Churchill looked back and he was like, I wonder what the state of the world is going to look like in twenty, in, in 50, 60, 80 years time? Is there going to be flying cars? Is there going to be I don't know? Um, a, a, an economy that doesn't exploit the poor. Suddenly he look he, he he looks at this state of society and it's just. <laughs> <laughs> He is, he is truly <laughs> fucking so <laughs> s <laughs> mate. Uh, He's uh, uh, like, I would, uh, mate, if we speak about guests. <laughs> oh my God. I would pay so much money. I would pay so mm. much money to have this man on. And people would be like, don't you think that's a bit exploitative? Don't you think that's like, it goes against all the morals you say on your main channel? Absolutely. No. And I don't I, give a shit. Know, <laughs> like, mate. that would be so funny. I would love to just interact with that human being. I, it would I, be surreal. Christmas episode, you've got you, you've got me, you've got Nick Ocado, you've got Stu Reviews and Onion. <laughs> and on <KSI>. the right, <laughs> and on the right, you've got KSI, and on the left, you've got fucking Ricky <laughs> Berwick. Ricky <laughs> Berwick. <laughs> All right. Okay. So yeah. So going into it, we've got we've we've introduced him, yeah. and now we've got on Nick Ocado Avocado. There's basically been a theory going around recently that this bloke has uh, passed away. This man has actually died because he's been known for uh, basically um, <laughs> like faking heart attacks and stuff. Okay. And my my discovery to finding out that Nick died was like a little bit. Um, it was it was just it was just different. I'm just going to show you it now. You want to give it a Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> if, if it's just a bunch of I, I don't think I can play that music for copyrighted I reasons I thought when you you know said to me you went like we're gonna talk about this fucking theory that he's dead yeah right. I don't think you were gonna show me that I thought that was you what, were gonna some, show some I thought, random geezer I thought you were, gonna, little music I thought you were gonna show me some like proper conspiracy well where, there, there, there is an actual video like a little minute and a half video we're gonna go through basically going over it was it's just some geezer going over basically the the, the theory going over that this man has died. And it's a little minute and a half clip, which uh, basically comes from this little bloke who I, I, I just found it, and we're going to go for it. Okay, so people think that Nikocado Avocado died. And what's the reason, you may ask? Well, it's because he hasn't posted in a week. He hasn't posted in a week, so everyone thinks he's dead. So, on his more Nikocado channel, he is known for posting every single day. Except 11 days ago, he just stopped, and then he didn't post for about a week. I really hope it wasn't the onion rings that killed him all. <laughs> I have terrible, to. Re terrible I have to re final meal. I, I am happy to announce that this man did not die from an uh, overconsumption of KFC. And people <laughs> always say, people are always like, you, you're being like, I don't know, like I guess like fat phobic and stuff. I'm, I'm not. It's just the fact that this man's entire channel is literally dedicated I, to the bloke consuming large quantities of food. I would like to make a point that I don't think it's the fact that he's like you know quite big, big that boy. we're laughing at. We're laughing at the fact of how fucking insane <laughs> he is acting. <laughs> it, it's just the insanity, the pure insanity behind it, like that. What makes it so entertaining? And I love the fact that it's so insane that the man doesn't post for eleven days, and the entire internet is like. Oh my god, he might be dead. Yeah. What well, also a person do you have to be where you don't post for a week and people are like that guy's probably dead. I, I kind of like, wanna, I yeah. kind of want to get on that level. That would be quite like a like, he, he, like the mad thing is about Nick. The bloke's got like an audience. Like whether the audience are there to like consume like actual decent content or whether to consume this man consuming four thousand billion calories, it's an audience nevertheless. And he gets like three hundred thousand fucking views a video. He's got like a Patreon where it loads his bum hole. It's like it's, 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 he's got a, he's got a big Business foundation, which honestly, Warren Buffett would probably be proud of. I mean, I'm jealous. If I could, like, you know, make a living out of just getting my bum hole. Like... Would you post your bum hole for a million pounds? Yeah. I post my bum hole for, like, about 60 quid. 60 quid? It, well, it depends. Am I, like, if, if this is, like, if I'm in a financial situation of, well, I've got some things going on which I need to pay off, then honestly, like, I'm not, it's just a hole. It's just in your bum. It's a hole, isn't it? <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's nothing to be ashamed of. We've all got one. I think it would maybe, how much do I think I would charge to get my bum all out? I reckon you, you're a, you're a 500 pounds man. 500 pounds, yeah. Probably right now. If someone's going to offer me five hundred pounds for a picture of my naught, but no, I'm you're posting sick. this publicly, mate. Like, so is is it a bit more? I don't know because five grand, five grand right now. Yeah, probably because the thing HSBC. is, right, they all look like they don't really differ bum. Holes, How do, do you differentiate a bum? Other than maybe a, bit, a little bit of the shaving here and there, a little shavy wavy, <laughs> a little bit of a Gillette Gillette shower gel, shower gel, shaving gel. I'll put some. Buddy hair removal cream on it. Buddy's hair so, removal cream coming soon. <laughs> I'll get bleached him. <laughs> little little fucking Aaron Ramsey. <laughs> no, uh, no, I I love sixty quid's a bit excessive. I'd say more like ten quid. No, joking. Uh, I I am um, I would I, well I would probably do it for some amount of money because it is just it's just a mole at the end bum of the day. Hole, Where have we gotten to? <laughs> We're talking about this man being dead. I need to clarify, he's not actually dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. He did come back recently, he did, and it was in a video which had a title which said... It's going to be a ridiculous mukbang, isn't it? I wasn't allowed to post this mukbang. <laughs> And he's having a full on fucking he's brawl. He, mate, he has been fucking slapped to shit there. <laughs> so so he uh, he wasn't allowed to post this smoke band, but then he posted it and got eight hundred thousand views. Um and it's him having a little bit of a little bit of beef uh with um, a bit of beef with Orlin, who was his um his his pride and joy, his partner, and this was the content we got. My body discriminates and disparages myself. Oh, is it's it because the car? Are you stressing and swelling in the car? I actually am. Or the scooter. I usually eat about one cup a day, nice and dainty and little. Really? Then why are you 500 pounds? Why are you a 500 pound girl if you just have one dainty cup a day? What are you really eating off camera, sweetie? It's swelling. It's just the fact that like somebody went through nine months of labor and you're thinking, you know, when I'm 90, they're going to treat me well. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's, it's just, I honestly, I'm not doubting Nick's uh, like contributions to his own mother, but like, I, I don't know, man. If I if I went through nine months of labor and they were uploading, just start going, <laughs> I'd be like, I don't know, Nick. Never have I 
use this phrase more aptly. But I just the man needs to fucking get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> he just, like he's getting millions a year for this. What am I allowed to say? Your dad's name? Am I allowed to say your dad's name? Does he mind? Kick go on. How would Roger react? <laughs> How would Big Rog? If he saw this, I think, think you be... say to you say to him, Roger, this man has earned more than you've earned in ten years combined in the last month. That. How, that would be the end of him, <laughs> I think. <laughs> that man just kills like. <laughs> He's uh, done. Mate, my dad was born during the end of World War II. <laughs> He's gone from that. Your He's dad, so- well, his, his dad fought for this man. He fought for, <laughs> he fought for this man's right to do this. Alexa, turn on closet. this on my back scratcher so I can reach because I can't reach I go like this it goes over here I can't it, do this I can't why does it do that why does he always wear such ill-fitting clothes I think it, it's because I want to see part of the act it? I, no I want to see that big <laughs> no, the worst part is about this bloke I have got like I don't have a good memory but for some reason when it comes to photographic memory <laughs> this man's bum cheeks are just <laughs> Ingrained. It's just bum hole stuck in your head. It's just there. I, I sometimes I wake up at three a.m. I'm so, like <laughs> next next bum hole. It's just imagine, there. You, imagine you're like lucid dreaming and you wake up and you're paralytic, fucking like hallucination. It's you know, just a floating you, you know, bum hole. You know, people always like at the end of your bed. There's like, this big black shadow. There's just the silhouette of Nick Ricardo's massive ass cheek. <laughs> They're just there. I don't know how to get rid of them. You're like blinking. Go away. They're just still there. They won't fucking go. That's fucking. You walk. Well, in, but the thing is, they just stay there. You walk into the room next day. Right. They're just chilling. Hey, mate. <laughs> just stay going. You're like bum hole. Just <laughs> Nicky, tuck- be- Nicky Bean. Nicky Bum. <laughs> just tucking into your fucking Mackies, are you? <laughs> <laughs> the- I really want to sort of understand the appeal of mukbangs. I don't understand why people like <laughs> watching people eat like tens of thousands of calories at once. It's it's just, honestly, I think it, I don't know. Like, it must be some form of fetish. What? I don't know. No, because they're getting too many views, I think, for it to, to be, be a fetish. fetish yeah, because fetish is like a, like a kind of like a, usually it's more <laughs> of like a, I don't know, like a, 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 not everyone has this thing. I think what watching people eat is maybe one of the like least interesting <laughs> things I can think of. Like if if I if somebody said to me in your spare time you are going to watch Nick Ricardo avocado videos, I I I would say no. I would say I don't want to do that. No. I, why would I want to do that? No. I feel like you've already taken up too much of my time with Nick <laughs> avocado today. All right, all right, all right. So uh, Nick, so Nick, obviously the dying allegations, we've we've we've, we've passed them. But the 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 bloke has a there there is there is more to this because now people are starting to think he's died again because basically recently the sad discovery was so kind you know how like in the Titanic um Jack and um what's Jack and the ginger woman Jill Jill Jack and Jill Jack and Jill broke up I think they're sisters in the story but either way we're gonna do it like Game of Thrones they've broken up they were there was a lot of weird stuff going on there and people didn't really agree with it but they broke up and in this case Jack and Jill is Nick Ricardo and all in and uh, it resulted in in a very sad reaction from Nick where he says this nobody actually likes me nobody actually likes me nobody actually likes me nobody actually likes me I'm not sure I got paid to do that right now. <laughs> it's not happening. I find it weird he didn't get an invite to the Sidemen Charity match. This man would be a prime number nine. <laughs> I, I think it's either a number nine or like a ball line, like centre defensive midfield. Like he's, nah, he's got target man written all over him. <laughs> he's like, you know, Andy, he, he would definitely get more goals than like Nunes would. <laughs> yeah, probably. Just no by one, being there. No one in this audience is understanding that. <laughs> I have a card. I'm a member. Me, when the Tesco woman says, <laughs> have you got a club card? <laughs> and I, and I, I'd definitely be like, I'm a member. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, oh, He's fuck such it. a beast. He's such he, a beast. Yeah. We're, we are going to get through all this law, guys. We, I promise you, we're going to get through all of this. The people on the actual like, Spotify must be a scientist just being like, Jesus hmm. Christ. <laughs> what should we invest our money in? <laughs> We, we regularly speak about Spotify buying the show and they, they must there's like a blacklist you've got like Andrew Tate you've got like Sneeko and then right above all of those guys you've got Alex Jones and then you've got right at the top Jordan Peterson and right at the top you've got like some far right podcasts which you've never even heard of and then even above that you've got even worse people 
And then just above that, you've got this podcast. <laughs> you've got Bodies Podcast. <laughs> the, fu- the, the true sewage. <laughs> it's just <laughs> fucking garbage, isn't it? <laughs> Why are you all sub to this? <laughs> what, what's what, wrong with you? Why are you watching this? <laughs> you got to you got to really wonder what is the state of the human race yeah. who are watching this bit of the, this video. There's something. There's some issues going on with you guys. We're worse than Nico. We honestly are because we're watching it. We're consuming it. And he's consuming everything. <laughs> he's like fucking Kirby, isn't he? <laughs> I love the idea that like. He just consumes and then becomes it. Yeah. And this man's going to, con- one day he's going to consume Mr. Beast. He's going to start making videos where he spends millions of pounds. Next thing, he's going to consume speed and become speed. You're gonna fuck <laughs> and then he's going to become Mini Minter. <laughs> and, then, and then at the end of the day, he's going to become, I don't know, fucking... Uh, Mate, the the Annoying Orange. You're going to fucking turn <laughs> That's on... That's the end game. <laughs> That's the end game. I don't even know what we're watching. I, don't even, I, I, I just needed to show you this, saying the bloke has broken up with All In. And uh, <laughs> ever since then, and it shows. <laughs> and, and it shows. And it shows. Uh, and then six days later, for the uh, seven hundredth millionth time, uh, Nick Ricardo Avocado has once again uploaded his last video. <laughs> what is again? Again, uh, like mate, it's his last video. I'll tell you what, that's a pretty good portion control for him. Uh, so you got bad. you got some curly fries. You've got I don't know, is that a burrito? No, I don't know. But, it's a burrito. You got some cheesy cheesy dippers. Severe lack of Richmond. Severe severe lack of Richmond. And a severe lack of fucking pickle ricks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken a while, but we've got there. We've got there. A severe lack of pickle ricks. Jesus Christ. Do you know, I reckon this man, he's just got a little little pickle rick, a little pickle, pickle rick body pillow sat next to him every single night. It's what keeps him sane. He's, he goes, <laughs> get in the pickle rick voice. Go on. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> a pickle rick! <laughs> this, 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 is, this is fucking awful. What is this? I'm pickle Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you know you were saying, oh, mate. You know you were saying. Oh, no. You know you were saying he eats things and becomes it. He He's going to become fucking... pickle Nick. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, pickle Nick. Oh, mate, mate, pickle Nick's going to fucking take over the world. Wobble up a dum dum. After his fucking 7,000 next video. <laughs> Whoa, <love a> dumb, <laughs> dumb. <laughs> he throws in a few more catchphrases. <laughs> Get some nuts. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst thing we've ever said. This is worse than the true this is worse than the true should pay a superpower, it's just baby. Degrading, isn't it? Nick, I oh god, please spare us from your pickle loving powers. But uh, oh he's he's left so he's left YouTube. But he's not dead. He'll be back. He'll be back. Just like just like somebody's parents watching this video eventually. They'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is this? Right. Should we move on to the controversial No. Oh, no when are we look, doing that? We need to conclude this. We're concluding this. There's not much more to be said. Nick hasn't there? died. And the theories that he has died are quite entertaining. And I'm probably going to make another main channel video okay. about it. Just because it's very funny. But okay. I, we, we should confirm. Rumors aren't true. Nicocado Avocado is definitely a pickle. <laughs> and uh, if you watch this entire clip, yeah. you are an absolute mug. <laughs> Please subscribe. No, uh, that, oh God. How long are we going for? We must have been going for, oh my, there's water all over my phone. Uh, we've been going for 48 minutes. Let's get, <laughs> we Jesus. should get some controversial opinions over and done with, to be honest with right. you. I haven't even asked you how you're doing today. Are you I'm, doing good? I'm not really sure what we're talking about. Um, Honest, I'm doing okay, I Honestly, think. I, this has been just a, a f- Fucking mess. <laughs> Utter Just fucking garbage like, content. <laughs> we 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 had a few a few beverages. I know someone on the first episode actually commented and said, "This is trash content." Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't see and, that. and I think I get it. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. Is it truly? Maybe the first episode actually. The first episode. Bit of critical thinking, bit of a uh, fair, fair critical breakdowns. This is just honestly, um, I'm not, I'm not sending this to my parents. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. Um, but uh, controversial opinions. My controversial opinion is that uh, <laughs> get some nuts. Get some nuts. That's your uh, controversial opinion. It is my controversial opinion. Do you have another controversial opinion? You want I to give? have a controversial opinion. Right, that Nicocado Avocado is truly. A lovely, lovely man who I would definitely love to spend some time with. Would you? No. Would you like cuddles? With Nicocado Avocado? Yeah. I would love cuddles. <laughs> We've been recording for far too long. I would just love to give him 
a big old hug and I say, Nick, Nicky old boy, <laughs> Nicky old pickle Rick boy. I'd say, Nick, it's all right. It's all right. And if you're a pickle, it's perfectly fine, my friend. And give him a little smooch. If, 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 he wanted, if he was consenting to it, I would say, Nick. Ah! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Controversial opinions. So that I was out, very controversial. I, it, it was controversial in the fact that Nick Akado Avocado is the real. He is a pickle Nick. <laughs> a pickle Nick. <laughs> <laughs> this is all, this is all, this is so bad. Oh God, I'm so sorry if you're watching this. Oh, please subscribe. And look, I'm gonna put this in the main podcast episode, but also this is just mainly for the clip. And um, I understand if you're a little bit confused right now. As I referenced before, there is a full podcast which can probably explain to you why we are making these uh, terrible jokes from 2017. Um, you know, there isn't really much of an explanation, but uh, at least you have a little bit of context. So uh, please subscribe and uh, you know just. Uh, enjoy the show we're actually going to get into these um these terrible opinions now thanks we put out a tweet saying controversial opinions and please follow our twitter account at bodiespods on twitter.co.uk slash bodiespods <laughs> that's not the right link. yeah it is i just fuck, i just read it i just read it i just read it and your name is right in front of me because you replied to the i look i tweet out being like controversial opinions please reply and the first thing i see is aiden likes beer and i'm like but you're doing this with me. Yeah. And it was majority of superhero films are shit <laughs> and boring and everyone tries the hard to give them a deeper meaning, which is absolutely correct. Yeah, superhero that... films are awful, like realistically. And I, 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 wa I watch most of them, but God, they aren't good, are they? It's just fucking like what, what you see is like the new Spider-Man movie comes out and you go on Twitter and someone's put like, this is a really good take on apartheid. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> mate, it's just a man mate, slinging some mate. weird. They're just fucking boring. And I think the main thing with them is they pump loads and loads of money into it so it looks cool. But then the actual content is, is garbage. It's like, awful. so garbage. There is, it's so, so funny to me that Disney spend hundreds, and I mean hundreds of millions of pounds and the result. I, I haven't even got this up, but my God, you've got to think, right? This is one of the most expensive films of all time. This is one of the most, it, it, it's for it's for Thor. I actually went to the premiere to this. I was kindly invited, uh, not by Disney, but somebody else gave me their plus one. But we can say Disney invited me to sound cool. Invite me to more. You won't answer this podcast. $250 million. <laughs> and the result is... <laughs> <laughs> It's so. It's what so, the hell is that? It's it's just, it's it's the MCU, my friend. And look, I I like the content. I I consume it, but it is it's getting worse for sure. It, like at 2018, it was actually pretty good. I don't watch them. I recommend. So I, don't, I don't know if I can actually have that opinion my, if I don't watch them. But yeah. I just no no no. I understand your opinion because you're bringing out the deeper meanings and deeper opinions. And honestly, in some of them, I can kind of get the deeper meanings. Like Black Panther, there is definitely some deeper undertones to that film. There's a lot, a lot of things about colonialism and stuff like that in that film. I can understand that. In films like Winter Soldier, there's uh, things about surveillance and stuff like that and how much power and control the government have over everybody. Completely understand the deep messages of that. But when it's a bloke turning into a fucking ant, uh, fighting off some other bloke who's also turned into an ant, I don't really think there's a deep underline of meaning. I just think it's not a good opportunity to uh, sort of teach the world <laughs> like how it is my, you know? my, I, I, I do I do love the fact that there are some there are some little kid out there who's getting their political opinions from Marvel Cinematic Universe yeah, <laughs> so. a fucking guy looking at Hulk going this is deep man <laughs> <laughs> this really makes me want to be a bit of a communist we truly live in a society <laughs> <laughs> but no uh, yeah no I, I actually agree with that opinion whilst I do like the MCU and there is some god awful content coming out of it recently uh, you've not watched any of this stuff but She-Hulk is not very good. One division was all right. I always didn't mind that. Loki was, I mean, it was, it was Loki. And then you have Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Decent, other than the villain. Absolutely awful. The next thing is actually about Marvel movies. Is it? Um, Alvira, I, sorry if I mispronounced that, says, Marvel movies are the she sheen, sheen of the movie industry. That basically means they're cheap and tacky. Oh, sheen is in like the clothing company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's just like basically run through like some factory. And honestly, sheen is like put through like, you know, in a lot of these clothing companies, you've this like seven-year-old kid who's on like, not even like, like 0.1p an hour and they're making all the clothes in a factory. Yeah. In, so in, like they, a sweatshop, basically. 
exactly. Getting close to like 5p and like... Yeah, it's basically... With Marvel, honestly, it's not that far off. They're basically playing their, their animators and editors and CGI artists absolutely nothing. So. They're just churning out utter garbage, I think. Yeah, they. It, it's the fact that there's like 7,000 things that come out a year, which just... Oh, it's just bad. It's just bad. Because there's honestly... There's only so many little green men that you can put on my screen where I start to think... <laughs> That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like when, I, yeah. when I turned on She-Hulk and She-Hulk was in a car of Hulk, suddenly a big fucking UFO appears. I was like, she's getting a bit stupid now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> like truly running out of yeah, ideas. Yeah, I was like, point, is, there's there's only so many little green men fighting that I can really stand, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe it's because I'm 25. It's, they've, they've gone like, oh fuck, what should we make a TV show about? We'll make Hulk's girlfriend a lawyer. <laughs> is it just cousin? Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've heard his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in America, maybe actually. But uh, no, that, I mean, to be fair, it is really funny seeing grown fifty-year-old men being like, "The yeah, MCU has gone woke," and it's like, mate, you're fifty years old. Get a fucking grip yeah, of your yeah. life, you sad bastard. Like, there's just there's some blokes on the internet who made like seven videos a day, and it's like they're like actually sat in their like basement with like piss on their floor and stuff instead of going to the toilet of where of, of where, I'm not even that's not even a joke like, you know that episode of South Park the world of fucking world Warcraft, of Warcraft. that, that fucking mate, guy on mate, the computer it is actually that these sad bastards make five six videos a day of where they actually get physically and visually upset because some bloke in the MCU actually had like a, a, a family member who was also yeah. green and it's like are you are you do, do, has, a, has a has a female Woman, not touched you in that long where this is making you physically angry. It's just like, there's bigger things to worry about in life. Than... Yeah, like their love life and sex life. Go fucking touch a woman or something. Go to a bar. Just have a fucking beer, mate. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> just, 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 just go get a fucking life. And this is coming from a man that regularly makes videos on a bloke called Nick Ocado Avocado. And when, if somebody like that is saying to you, get a life, you should realise I have truly hit the yeah, dogs. We're doing these podcasts. We're saying things. At, by the end of the day, once we finish recording, I don't really give a fuck about <laughs> a lot of this. <laughs> I, like, I, yes, I was like, look, you can't tell. I was saying, just don't tell everyone. Like, on some things, we're not going to care, but it's going to be funny. We can take the piss. But reality is, a lot of these things you don't actually give a shit about on this podcast. If I make a video, I do care in my main channel videos. But on this podcast, if I'm taking the piss, I probably don't care but, about the whole thing. I'm not saying... I don't care, but I don't care. It's not like it's on your mind. It's not the, like you go to bed thinking, yeah. oh, oh, Nick Ocado Avocado might be dead. <laughs> to the extent where it's, you know, causing me problems with my general anger and that, temperament. I'm not, I'm not like diarying myself into the thoughts of like, is Onision suing me? That, that's not in my mind yeah. constantly. Whereas right. these guys, they have created the phrase MCU, which is like, there is no such thing as like a, like a physical virginity pass. But if you've unironically ever said MCU, you should just fucking k You are a virgin. Like you are... <laughs> Yeah. Oh God, just just the worst. Them men need a fucking good pair it's, of boobs in their face, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> just a big load of boobies. And it's the fact that me and you saying something so fucking stupid like that are, are, are still above these guys. Give the guy some Bristols to play with. <laughs> <laughs> some Bristols, some Bristol glizzies. <laughs> some glizzy whiz. Ah, oh, the glizzies have come back. The glizzies are back. The, right. the, the Richmond so, sex. As we were saying about 10 minutes ago before we got sidetracked again. Controversial opinions. Controversial opinions. Moving um, away from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So I put out a form as well. I yeah. attacked, This time it was a bit different. I was like, if you're a bit scared by these controversial opinions, just, just you know, submit into this form. It's anonymous. And we weren't, we're not on them yet. But a lot of them are about gay people and the LGBTQ yeah. plus community. And we're a part of that community. Me and you. Uh, Two bisexual men, right? Yep. We move into the topic <laughs> of queer baiting. And I'm just going to read out communist Pikachu, not communist, communist, says communist uh, a very funny little pun you've got going on there, you sad little man. <laughs> he goes, queer baiting accusations against someone like Harry Styles are really dumb and unnecessary. And it implies that people need to be forced out of the closet. And that's not something I'm comfortable doing. Do you know what queer baiting is? Uh, no. That comes from a man who is not chronically online, my friend. Uh, <laughs> allow me to explain to you the concept of queer baiting. Give so it to me straight, Doc. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Basically, queer baiting is this phrase that a lot of people have... Uh, not, it's, it's genuine in some places, very minute places, I say, but in a lot of places, it's, you know. Queer baiting is a phrase of where somebody says that a straight person acts acts gay, which is, right. at that point alone, is a little bit like, 
Even yeah. then, the, the implication of there is a way to act gay is, yeah. you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's a way to act straight of, I don't know, being bald and loving football, but <laughs> loving the glizzies. But actually, no, that's pretty gay. Loving the eggs. <laughs> we haven't even explained that. But yeah. Uh, we don't the, need to. We're just going to leave that. We're just going to leave it. It's the implication that straight people, particularly straight famous people, act gay in order to basically culminate an LGBTQ plus audience for profit, pretty much. I think this agrees but in corporations, I think corporations queer bait. I think in a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows, a lot of shows will deliberately take a character, take Stranger Things, for example, there's Will Byers. And I think they've taken a character there and they've definitely like queer coded him, which is when you've put like a lot of gay tropes surrounding the character, yeah. but they've not directly labeled the character as gay because they are clearly afraid of upsetting a certain audience. He's getting m I will just mute this entire segment and you guys have had absolutely no idea what we just said. But yeah, basically... Right, he's not getting a boyfriend with that haircut. That's what I meant to say. That's what you that just... That bowl cut is getting him nowhere in the dating community. <laughs> that's, that's so mean. But basically... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but and basically, if you have got a bowl cut... You need to fucking change that, my fucking, friend. <laughs> Get that fucking, fucking sorted. Yeah, <laughs> fucking... So I, mate. <laughs> stupid bastard. We're not taking any prisoners today. fucking ugly cunts. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> All right, but no. Basically, they're saying that that people queer bait in order to gain audiences to profit off them. This is an accusation that a lot of people have had. Being like Harry Styles does it because he puts an address. Bit gay. Uh, honestly, <laughs> I look. I think the whole thing is valid in the case of corporations definitely do it because they are afraid to have actual gay fictional characters in their fictional universe because they want to still have streaming rights in countries where yeah. LGBT stuff is not publicly allowed. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. Well, I, I was saying if Harry Styles wants to wear a dress. Jesus, let, him, wear a dress. let him wear a dress without fucking, you know. I've always been like <laughs> turned away from the implication of acting gay because I, I think that I'm not a very gay acting person. I no. I mean, I I, I don't think if I'm a stere like a stereotype of being a bisexual man, but I am bisexual because uh, I made a video about it and that's the only way to identify as being gay is if you're an influencer. But we're bi and I don't think if anyone went up to us, it would be particularly easy to guess because I think the whole thing of like acting in a specific way comes under the whole I mean I know we've been speaking about stereotypes and playing into them but stereotypes are never necessarily the best of things and I think the yeah. problem is is that with things like queer baiting you're playing into those stereotypes but also at the same time how the fuck do you know that somebody's queer baiting? Like, imagine going up to somebody being like, you're queer baiting, and then two years later, they come out as gay. Because theoretically, sorry to interject, yeah. but theoretically, you have just forced them into probably coming out down the line. I don't think sexuality in itself is a performance, is it? And, exactly. Um, hey, mate, it's not like I'm getting on fucking stage being like, look at me, I love cock. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Harry Styles isn't walking around going, oh, I'm so gay. But he's just not doing that, is he? He's just like dressing sort of not in the way that in a, in a societal, in a societal would. masculine norm. And even if he looked like a twat wearing him, he could do what he wants. <laughs> yeah, this is the thing, right? I And honestly, this is going to sound a bit controversial, but even if anybody is technically queer baiting, honestly, I don't actually care because this is my, I don't know if this is controversial, but I actually think you're kind of like normalizing it in a way. Mate, if a celebrity is acting a bit gayer than their mates, but like they're not actually gay, like I haven't got a fucking problem with that because one, they're probably just having a, a laugh with their mates. To be honest with you, like as like when I was younger, like everyone, like, you know, the whole like, no, uh, like jokes aside, but like, don't um no home was it like you kiss somebody's like no homo but it's like yeah it mate if you kiss like there's a good portion if you're younger and kissing the someone of the same sex and you're saying no homo it's probably a good chance that you probably down the line are gonna realize that you're gay and I didn't realize that I was bisexual until I was about 20 but then you look back on things and there are moments in your life when you're like well yeah there are some things there and it's like imagine like going up to somebody who is giving off like again more stereotypical traits that somebody is necessarily gay bisexual lesbian and you're then like oh um that person is is queer baiting. It's like no, they might actually just be on a journey and progression of coming out. It's like I'm, so, I don't, I don't mean to get overly serious. No, but exactly. Like, but like, you could even be, you know, very straight and still dress like that and still act the way you do. Yeah, because then again, you're then just playing into societal standards yourself by being like. Only gay people can do this. Only yeah, no, exactly, yeah. You should be able to express yourself how you want by how you dress and sort of how you sort of present yourself without having to attach sexuality to that. You, you know the content creator Dream? Heard of him. He's a bloke that gets called out for it a lot. A lot of him and his friends do, being like, you're queerbaiting, you're queerbaiting, because they make jokes about it, like each other, like, you know, like little, little, little gay jokes here and there, but it's like, 
who cares, man? Like, who for how do you know that this person is not gay or bisexual or or yeah. pansexual? Like, it, it's like who gives a shit? It's also, right, the only person's business of sexuality is their own. Who has the right to speak about someone's own definition definition of sexuality? other than themselves. Nobody, man. Like, fucking nobody. Yeah. Like, if somebody wants to be something and they're not harming anybody, like, who who cares? Like, there's, like, like aunts, there's, like, questions we've gotten in this controversial opinions bit about, like, um, neo-pronouns and stuff like that. And it's like, why do people... I, I've never... Maybe, younger, when you're a bit more reactionary because you're coming into more, like, political things, maybe you will be more, like, reaction to it. But there's a guy who's, like, 25 now. You're tw almost 25. Like... I look at these things now, I don't know about you, it's like, why do people care about how what somebody choose to identify as like sexuality, gender-wise, in general? Like, why do people care about that stuff when it doesn't affect you, it doesn't harm anybody, it's just making somebody feel more themselves and more comfortable who they are in their body? I just don't get why that's an issue of anyone ever. And we rarely ever get serious on this podcast, no, but it's uh, always I been think, a bit of a weird thing. I think it's a point that needs to be made that people should be able to sort of as i said earlier sort of express themselves how they want yeah without being judged about whether they're trying to appeal to an audience yeah no i i, I agree bring up the neo pronouns thing it's like some someone goes neo pronouns are stupid and unnecessary and then they also go on saying also less confident on this one but personally don't think that our word is a slur but not a nice word shouldn't call people that but not a slur. I, I've never understood like the whole like idea of slur discourse. You probably never even heard of that because you're also not chronically online. It's just people debating whether you can say a word or not. And it's like, boy, boys, just just go outside. I keep seeing online and it really annoys me. 40 year old men and above joking that they identify as an Apache attack helicopter. <sighs> Mate. And I cannot think of a more irritating joke. <laughs> it is like so overused. And it's just like, why do you care? <laughs> it's just like... There, there's nothing like... It, I was like, mate, just, just fucking focus on repaying your mortgage. Like, <laughs> like, don't worry about it, all right? Work on getting your fucking wife back because <laughs> she's not fucking happy. She's, she's not coming back, man. She's literally with like some 21-year-old who probably does have neo yeah, <laughs> It's it, like, just relax, mate. You're just coming across as a dickhead. No one has ever made a joke like that and I have gone... I like this guy. <laughs> and no, the, this is the thing I never get. It's like, oh, 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 fucking pronouns, pronouns. But it's like, everyone thinks you're a dickhead by that like, one guy with like a fucking English flag in their Twitter, Avi. Like, it just doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, and this like, is the thing. I don't understand why so many people care. It does not affect you in any way. Just yeah. relax. Get your wife back. She's fucking miserable, mate. Go just go watch Harry Potter with her or something. I don't know. The other controversial opinions, honestly, more of it is just, some gays is like, you can be gay and still hate the LGBT community. It's like, mate, they have a hatred. Like an I think hate is probably an overused right. word. They go, not because they're LGBT, because the community is constantly at each other's throats. I mean, just ignore it. I think if you if you are seeing communities at each other's right. throats, you probably need to take in the opinion you're probably on social media the, too much. The thing is, the like LGBT community is just that just means anyone who isn't straight right, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's a lot of people. That There's going to be a lot of, of bad people in, in that group. But there is also going to be a lot of, you know, very nice people. I'm a big lover of glizzies, but honestly, in the glizzy the, industry, you're probably going to get some not so glistacular people. Just like, just like, <laughs> well, yeah, you're going to get the glistastic people. You're going to get the fucking go on, go on. gliz Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking sick bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. Uh, we're going to add the controversial opinions here by saying, controversial opinion, you should subscribe to this podcast. <laughs> but uh, we're going to take a break now because I need to go for a little wazzle wazzle doo doo. <laughs> They'll have a wazzle dazzle doo doo. And then what do you need to do? Anything? Um, Any food consummation? I'm going to go get some nuts. Okay, so if you've made it to this point, I would be very surprised. But if you have, I'm just going to put a little uh, little reminder. Please subscribe to the channel because uh, it would mean a lot. I'm very tired right now because I have been editing this thing. So uh, please like it. Please comment and all that good stuff. And if you do want to listen to it on Spotify, Apple Music, all the links are in the description. And uh, our other socials, like our Twitter account, where you can interact with us, get involved in the show. It's all there in the description. Just go and follow it. Be, be, be nice, be kind, and uh, follow us on everything. Cheers. Hello, Glizzy Nation. <laughs> what, the, what was that? What was that? And we're back. <gasps> Get some nuts. <laughs> Get some I, nuts. I just discovered that uh, the head mango is under the family category of droops. droops yeah. Um, during the break, we had Fraser, a little predicament. Fraser offered me some mango and said, Do you want some melon? And I said, That's not melon, that's mango. 
and then you tried to prove me wrong by googling it Google and Reno. you ended up just coming off as a as imbecile a little droop, as a little droop. <laughs> we discovered it's part of the droop family it's a part of the droop family it's fucking riveting content it is isn't it <laughs> today my friend aside from mangoes I want to speak about the Mr. Beast uh, the Mr. Beastcation of YouTube you know Mr. Beast yeah I always say this dude you know this yeah everyone knows fucking Mr. Beast Mr. But... Beast is a beast <laughs> uh, when we say Mr. Beast I'd just like to point out we are not talking about Stu we are talking about his name's Mr. Beast Beast, you know, the guy that stared at a wall and now it? he's got a trillion dollars or something. <laughs> My favorite thing about Mr. Beast is this bloke built the foundations of that man's career on just saying words <laughs> like a million times. <laughs> like, there are so many videos. Like, if I go onto YouTube right now and just type in saying something certain times, Mr. Beast. When or... people are like, humans are the most intelligent species and, you know, we've built all this infrastructure and, you know, we've come out with all these great ideas ideas and we, we've made like life better than like ever conceivably could be and then you look at Mr. Beast counts to one trillion or something and it's got like <laughs> 500 million three, views but it's not even that long ago three years ago saying PewDiePie 100,000 times <laughs> I count it to 100,000 26 million views saying Logan Paul 100,000 times 21 million views I'll give him credit because if someone told me right you can have all the money in the world but what you have to do is stare at a wall for 24 hours. I wouldn't do it. Mate, honestly, I'm not discrediting him. I think this is this is actual genius. Just look at this. Is it recording? Recording? Yep. All right. Hopefully uh, I don't screw this up. All right. Well, Logan Paul. Logan Paul. Logan Paul. I hope I don't screw this up. 17 hour playtime. <laughs> you, you start off You start off this blood. This is like a, a regular man. And then you go... Nine hours in. <laughs> I'm really annoyed he didn't put timestamps in this video. <laughs> I don't know, you know, where the different segments are. <laughs> it's like... There is an issue with Mr. Beast. I, I don't really consume... I watched a Squid Game video and there weren't any squids and I was very disappointed. Yeah. But there is an issue on YouTube right now of like, because the man is so popular, like popular to a point of like, is this even real? Like the guy yeah. gets hundreds of millions of views. Fair play, works a lot. Got a whole business structure for it. But there are a lot of blokes out there that are now trying to be Mr. Beast. I like, I, I will go on YouTube now and I'll watch a bloke like bowling, but you can tell they've watched a Mr. Beast video because the video is going at like six million miles per hour. <laughs> like you can't, you don't even get like a fucking a, a, a moment to watch the man throw the ball. It's just, he's like this and the ball's just going full pout down. Okay, it's like on Wii Sports <laughs> when the ball goes flying behind him and everyone jumps and spins. <laughs> There's a little the noise where it goes, whoop. Yeah. Whoop. yeah. And everyone behind him goes, wah. <laughs> Or you get a naughty strike. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's why you fucking lob the ball behind you. Why, why are you allowed mate, to do mate, that on Wii mate, Sports? Mate, there is never a bigger moment of looking like a dickhead when you're nine years old. It's Christmas Day and you're in front of, you, in front of your nan and granddad and you just disappoint them because you throw the Wii Sports bowling ball back. Yes. <laughs> they think that's an entire generation that they've created and they're just looking at you thinking, you dickhead. Yeah. We're going off topic. Right. We're going off topic. The Mr. Beast of the Mr. Beastification of YouTube is like an actual issue. Like I'm not even I've I've actually wanted to speak about this for a while, but I just didn't want to do a main channel video of it. Of where there are so many people now trying to be Mr. Beast, of where at first it's like it's just content. You can't really get mad at people trying to follow the meta that works. But there is some times of where it it goes to realms where <laughs> I'm just gonna show you. I spent 100 hours. <laughs> In the world's poorest country. <laughs> oh no! And this oh, is fucked mate, up. No, mate, uh, mate. Uh, and this this went viral. That's not. That's <laughs> not even funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's truly harrowing. Right. <laughs> this bloke went out with like four of his mates with like their ten thousand dollar cameras, and they went to the poorest country in the world. And and the thumbnail is bad, but the, he got he got hounded for the thumbnail. It's so like instead, so, like... so instead, he he changed the thumbnail. And as honestly. Probably even worse. <laughs> what? This, this issue is like, because so many people are now desperate to be Mr. Beast. They're seeing the views and they're thinking, I want a, I want a big chunk of the pumpkin pie. <laughs> and, this, and this is the result of it, my friend. This is the worst poorest country and there is a lot of bad things said about it. Thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just the con... I, I just can't get over how... I, I don't know if the 
the bloke's a bad guy, but social media has definitely like mounted the brains of human beings. That's why I'm going to spend the next 100 hours here to see with my own eyes if it's true or not. When we arrived in the airport, we saw something that we didn't expect. The policeman was asking us to give him money for no reason. Probably because he hasn't got any. Man's been like, this is the poorest country on the planet. He's like, a oh, guy asked me for money. It's oh, a mate. That's a man begging. <laughs> If he thinks that bad, if it. he thinks that is bad, wait until he visits Great Yarmouth <laughs> because he is going to be in Wait until he sees 50p Chris. <laughs> 50p fucking Chris, mate. I think he's gone through it all. If I ever see 50p Chris in a Mr. Beast video, that's the day I'm going to cancel Mr. Beast. <laughs> And absolutely no one's going to know 50p. I, I actually feel bad that we have just publicized 50p Chris. <laughs> they think we're going to be mocking up. They, 50p Chris got into it. There's basically, for a little explanation, he's this bloke who I, I, I think he's homeless, where we're from. And he goes around asking for 50p's pretty much. <laughs> and one time he got into a scrap. He's, he's dead now. but So I guess 50p Chris won in the end. But he got into a scrap with my step <laughs> With your, my step granddad. Your step granddad. He's like fucking five, like not even five feet. He's probably like three foot two. He got into, <laughs> no, no, he's not. No, no, your no, step granddad no. is not three foot two. <laughs> oh, he's three foot six. <laughs> <laughs> he got into a scrap with him because he said to my granddad, he was like, yeah, you got 50, well, you, not 50 p, but you asked for some money pretty much. Fair enough. <laughs> he gave him the money. And then uh, Chris said, you got any more? He was like, no, I don't. I just gave it to you. And then, then 50p Chris started getting in his face. And my, my 80 year old sick guy, who I have to reiterate, is dead. <laughs> Your three <laughs> foot six, pickle Rick sized <laughs> step granddad. In his old age, he did start to become a pickle, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> you accidentally ate him. There, there's there's a certain died. reason they say a vegetated state. <laughs> Mate, 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 I don't think my, my step family have any idea that I do YouTube. They're going to see this and think, that sick fucking yeah, bastard. He's exploiting the fucking family. <laughs> he's not going to see it. He can't, he's dead. They, that's, what, that's the joke, mate. But, um, Zing! No. <laughs> that's the bazinga. Bazinga. That's the but, bazinga. But no, he had, I, how have we even got here? 50 Chris. My, my granddad had a scrap with him uh, and, that, and that was it. And uh, I don't know why we've gone this rhetoric of 50p Chris. Basically, if you go into a poor area, you're probably going to find somebody asking for money. Yeah. I was wondering if the rumors are true. And after three hours, we made it out of the airport to meet our guy. Welcome, Burundi. Please. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> it was already 5 a.m. in the morning and the sun rose. While being in the car, our guide said something shocking. That the average salary of workers in Burundi is... Around 200000 It's $100. Yeah, it's around 100 I just love that he's like, this is the poorest place on the planet. And the most shocking thing is, is that... They're all poor. <laughs> yeah, that's not unknown news, is it? No, no, like, I don't think. I mean, Africa has been massively exploited by the West throughout, like, the literal entirety of history. Like, it's a place which has just been purely, like, taken advantage of by uh, so many horrific people. And it's like, what, what does this guy expect? The bloke's turned up to literally documented one of the poorest countries on the planet. And he's like, yeah. I can't believe it. I don't know what this video is trying to achieve. It's just like, what's he <laughs> fucking expecting to land there? It's like, oh, just get in the taxi. Oh, there's a Tesco's across the corner. It's like, mate, it's just, it's just what, what, what were you expecting? But then the point of the video, I guess, is uh, he, uh, he does some truly fascinating things in this. And this is why... Uh, I say Mr. Beast has ruined YouTube because it's not his fault. Let me reiterate that. Whatever, what, what, like whatever your opinions are, Mr. Beast never convinced a man to go into a school and just start saying things like this. Most things that I learned, they are not only from school. They are online, from the phone. They can access all the clever... Einstein and Elon Musk. <laughs> Did he fucking show Einstein? <laughs> Mate, mate, and it's like the guy that invented the theory of relativity created one of the most devastating weapons on planet in, in human history and the bloke that invented the tunnel. <laughs> yeah, the man that calls people trapped underground monsters. <laughs> Whatever it was. I said this because only 10% of the population has access to the internet. I left the class and felt inspired that these kids will have so much potential to help their country if they have access to the huge learning that the internet provides us. They, they just said that they don't. He just said 9% of them. I... Said, I'd feel demotivated. I'd be thinking, I want to help this place. I don't want to fucking leave. Be like, all right, see you later. Good luck. You guys are going to help yourselves. I think if there's one thing I've learned doing this podcast is that YouTubers, the fucking internet is does not make you clever 
it rots your brain I'm, to shit. I'm saying Mr. Beast has caused this, but it's like, I don't know how much responsibility you can take for a man flying to Africa and being like, look at this fucking thing. <laughs> He's like, look at this thing. Right. It's like, mate, I think you need to seek therapy of some <laughs> And I have a solution that I will tell you more about later. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to show you the solution to help it out yet. You're going to have to fucking subscribe first. This man's going to save Burund Burundi. <laughs> this man is going to take, talk. like, he's going to go to every part of the planet and just be like, I've got a solution, but 50% of you aren't subscribed and I'm going to need you to subscribe before I give you that solution. Guys, I know what's going to save the world. Internet. <laughs> this personally is a life-changing trip for me because I want to experience things that I never believed that existed. What did he think was in this? Did, I thought the this is a weird video. Uh, isn't this it? this video was like so viral. It, 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 I know. I, I just, <laughs> I just don't understand how you, some a man has gotten into this. Now, in fairness, I'm pretty sure he donates to the money and stuff like that, which is is nice. It's nice, but yeah. it's like you know he's probably profited way more off it. But also at the same time, it's just it, it, you as much as you can donate charity to like paper over a tone deaf video, it's still tone deaf. Like there's nothing's going to stop it from being like ridiculously, hilariously bad. Yeah, it's just not good content. The content, it's not for me. That's it's... really put me in a bad mood, actually. Wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is, it is awful. And that's not even like all of it. Like, there is so much more I could show you, but it's, it's not really worth it. It's just basically a bloke walking around a village of where he's like, I'm doing better than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's literally walking around going, these kids are poor. I'm not. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's just the fact throughout the entire thing, he's like, I didn't think this thing existed. It's like, well, what the fuck? Wait. Yeah. The, the local man discovers poverty. Yeah. <laughs> My point is, it's like, Mr. Beast probably came into it. Fairly honest man. You know, started saying some words a thousand times, maybe even a million times. <laughs> maybe turning into Pickle Rick now and again. But then one day, somebody saw that and thought, I'm going to take that formula. I realistically want to see somebody, as you said, go to Great Yarmouth. Go to Great that. Yarmouth. Go to Great Yarmouth and try this out. Have mate. a fucking go and enjoy land. <laughs> Oh, then, sure. you'll, then you'll see how fucking depressing life can be. Do an interview on Beach Radio. <laughs> Basically, I just need all of these clones to just delete their channels because it's, it's upsetting me every time I log on to YouTube. I might I might participate in a Mr. Beast video nowadays. I might feel a little bit beast. And I might I might think, you know what? I'm going to go watch some of the main beast. And yeah. then suddenly my recommended the next day. Is this is the worst poorest country and there is a lot of bad things said about it. If you got asked to be in a Mr. Beast video where you had to sit into a, in a circle for like, as long as possible without leaving yeah would you do it mate i would cut off my left ball sack to do that that man would give me so many subscribers that i would <laughs> i i would i i would become what this man is i would sacrifice all forms of integrity i don't think you'd last who's in the circle with me that's because that's a big impactful thing it's you and it's as a name you're thinking. trevor mcdonald <laughs> and um paul o'grady I'd fucking shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Uh, and Beast. Obama. <laughs> Obama. Yeah. Ah! All right. So we've just had a notification that we need to start wrapping up the whole yep. thing. So we need to stop now, pretty much. Pretty much. We'll, uh, <laughs> That's very enthusiastic. Um, I if, if, I, if there was the one thing to end this podcast on, if you could take any celebrity, any influence, anyone, just anyone of some form of fame in a fight with a glizzy in one hand... <laughs> And Stu's most uh, most prized bottle of lemonade in one hand on the other side. Which which who would you take? And who, who would, would you, I fight? Who would you vic victor in battle? I would go toe to toe with <laughs> Wayne Rooney. <laughs> That's not a fucking influence. <laughs> He's pretty influential. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> Who is Wayne Rooney influencing on a day to day basis? Well, we Nobody you... wakes up saying I want to be Wazza. We got you. To, we got you to get a hair transplant. <laughs> no, he didn't. That was fucking um, Stevie White. <laughs> Stevie White. I'll take Stevie White with St a glizzy. <laughs> you take Stevie and I take Jack, man. Yeah. The, the great glizzy wars have yeah. begun. And then once we've done them, we'll fucking take Robbie and Knox <laughs> at the end. We'll tag team him. I thought you were saying someone else there. I don't know why another Robbie came into my head. Fucking Robbie from Arsenal Fancy. <laughs> Alright, all right. thanks for watching. Boss. <laughs> thanks, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, uh, please guys. follow us on Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, I never check the Apple Music charts, so if you're there, thanks. I guess. Yeah, and there's... YouTube's the main one for now. Until Spotify, for some reason, give us like twenty quid. Uh, <laughs> there's no way people have listened this long. No, no, they do. I check the streams. People, you, for some reason, listen to this shit. You are you. You're fucking. You're all weird. <laughs> <laughs> Can't fucking grip. <laughs> So that, that's that's you next week. Right, cheers. Bye. Bye. That was good. That was good. Thank mm -hmm. you.